Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Rakah Kadash, the honors to the apostles and elders, a great most of much respect to you, brothers out there, that's preaching, that's preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle, David, hopeful, Lekin, and Speckle Bird, I want to say shalom. So I got a video that I got queued up that I want to play. And uh, just goes to show you, man, uh, Jake out here, they want to be... They want to be like our evil twin brother, Esau Edom. You know, this man has been given the blessing of the sword. And that's not our blessing. We're, we're a spiritual people. And it goes to show you that we need the mercy and grace in that standard to be lifted up in these last days. All right, because Esau Edom has been given the blessing of the sword. And we're going to need that protection from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Now, as I'm speaking, there's actually a, a chariot chariot above my house as I'm speaking call alone and lie how about me on South Boston where car could dies all right so I'm gonna have to record that but uh, I'm gonna play this video All right, shalom. So, back at it. So let's go ahead and get a couple scriptures, man. All right, because this man Esau Edom, like I said earlier, has been given the blessing of the sword, and the blessing of the sword is how you identify who are the Edomites. They rule with the sword. All right, by killing. Okay. Right now they they got the fatness of the land, but it's all going to be taken away from them. You know, and, and that's why this man, <laughs> Sleazy E, is, is super, super heated, man. So I'm going to go to Genesis 27, and uh, I'm going to start at verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherein, wherein with his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand, and then will I slay my brother. So, all right, Esau eat him. <laughs> it's still heated to this day. Now, when you go to the account, all right, Esau and Jacob, all right, which uh, Jacob's name was later changed to Yasharala, all right, they got cool, but that hatred spewed, you know, spread to Esau Edom's children, all right? Why? Because Jacob got that blessing, all right? So this is this is that. Uh, <laughs> This is that mass hatred. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna go up to, uh, I'm gonna go up to uh, verse 29 and see why, um, why this man is mad. All right, which he he shouldn't even be mad, man. Because when you go into the count, like I said, I'm just going to, uh, you know, go through it real quick. But when you go to a count, this man already sold his birthright. <laughs> he already so sold his birthright, and then when it comes up to his father uh, crying. With tears. Dude, you're supposed to stand by your word. And it just goes to show you, even back then, Esau Edom did not stand by his word. You know, you look at all the treaties that he made with our brethren, the Gadites, the Reubenites, right? He did not keep not one treaty, all right? This man is not to be trusted, okay? So I'm going to go up to uh, Genesis 27 and verse 28. Therefore, power, give thee the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. And plenty of corn and wine. Let the people serve thee, and the nations bow down to thee. Be lord over the bre thy brethren, and let the mother's ch mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curseth thee, and bless 
be he that bless, blesseth thee. All right? So this is why Esau Edom is mad, because Jacob got this blessing, right? Which is already promised to the father <laughs> in the spiritual realm. It was already written that Jacob was going to get the blessing anyways, all right? And so this man is mad. He understands that he's going to be a slave, man. He's going to be <laughs> under our footstool. So, so this man is mad, all right? And so he came up to his father, Isaac, which if you get to understand it, Isaac is also Yahweh Shai, okay? Isaac is Yahweh Shai. Came up to his father. And, and matter of fact, since I'm saying that, you know, um, just like uh, my father would say, or you, if you grew up with a father or you may have friends that have fathers, you know, I brought you into this world. I can take you out. Well, Yahweh Shai brought you into this world and he gave you the blessing and so he's going to take you out and take away that blessing, right? <laughs> Just straight facts, man. So I'm going to go to verse uh, 34, all right? And when Esau heard the words of the father, he cried with a great and exceedingly bitter cry and said unto his father, bless me, even me also, my father, all right? Coming up to his father with, the, with that bull crap, man, all right? <laughs> hey, you already sold your birthright, man. And he said, thy brother came with satuity and have taken away thy blessing. And he said, is, it not, is he not rightly named Yaquab, all right, supplanter? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he have taken away my blessing. And he said, has thou not reserved a blessing for me? <laughs> Crying, man. You know, and, and, and like I said earlier, this is why they have this hatred towards us still to this day, All right? Highlight that real quick. In fact, I'm going to do that in a different color. But yeah, this is why they have this hatred still to this day. Because, hey, hey, really, this man didn't <laughs> keep his word, man. You know, once again, when you go to account, Jacob was like, hey, give me your birthright. Give me your birthright. And so Esau promised to give him the birthright. And so now look at him. He want to come up to his father. As, <laughs> this is why, man, is the scriptures are plain. Do not trust thine enemy. Right? This man does not go by his word. And even now with these jabs, our people are still, the, the two-thirds are trusting in this man. And he does not stand by his word. You see, back then, your word meant something, man. You promised something, you meant it, man. All right? And that's what this world does not uphold. All right? You're supposed to stand by your word. Okay? And so, once again, um, matter of fact, I'm going to go to verse 40. And by the sword shall thy live, and shall serve thy brother, and, shall, and it shall come to pass, wherewith thou shalt have dominion, Thou shalt break his yoke, uh, yoke from off thy neck. All right? So this blessing is an identifier of who the Edomites are. All right? So we said, by the sword thy shall live. All right? And once again, for our people, hey, you're going to live by the sword. You're going to die for, by the sword, man. You know, our people uh, want to be carnal, want to be like Esau, Edom. You know, our evil twin brother. Hey, you, you're going to end up perishing, man. Because this man got the big guns. This man, all right, they, they're base-ass people, but their only superpower is to shoot the gun, man. All right? You see them at work. <laughs> I know at my job, you know, I have no sense of where they at. <laughs> Nothing, man. They just just out the zone. But, hey, their only superpower is to shoot the gun. All right? Modern-day sword is the gun. That's their only superpower. All right, so Jake has to come up to the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai, all right, to hopefully get this protection, to get that standard in these last days, all right, to be protected from this <laughs> a wicked, evil man, all right? Why do you realize or not? We need that protection, man. We need that protection. So I got some scriptures lined up that I want to get into, and uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. I'm just skimming right through them. I'm going to go to Psalms because I love going into Psalms. Powerful, powerful. All right. 
This is Psalms. Um, I can get 140. This is Psalms 140. Song of David. Deliver me, O Yahweh, by me outside from the evil man. Preserve me from the valley man. That's what we that's what we're doing, man, while we out here praying. And once again, like I said, there's there's a chariot out here while I'm preaching the word in my car, you know, call on Yahweh by me outside. Because hey, he got his chariots watching over us, man. He got his angels watching over us. And we're gonna need that protection. You know, when you read Daniel 12, you know, it's gonna be so crazy out here. That Michael the archangel got to intervene, all right? Which imagine mischief in their heart and continually and are gathered together for war. You see that? Why? Because they have been given the blessing of the sword, all right? The earth is given in the hand of the wicked, okay? How do we get to understanding who the wicked is? All right, you go to Malachi 1, all right? It tells you who the wicked is. That's Esau Edom. Esau Edom is the so called white man, all right? He has dominion over the earth. And we need to be saved from him. All right. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent at a poison is under their lips. Say la. All right. Because they don't keep their word, man. All right. A lot of things that they say, hey, their words are like sweet, like butter, but a hey, uh, 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 it's drawn swords. OK. They they planning ways to destroy the Israelite men. All right. To destroy the Israelites to keep us away from our power. And it says, uh, verse four, keep me, O Yahweh, me outside from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the valley man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. You see that? You see that? That's why we need that protection, man, because he he's planning he, he's planning so many ways to throw us out. And once again, he has been given the blessing of the sword. And this man, a hey, hey, once again, that's his only superpower because they're base ass people. And hey, 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 even a little child can rock a grown ass man with the sword. All right. A, a, a little child, Salaki, a little child can rock a grown ass man with the sword. A little Edomite child. All right. Hey, we need protection from all these devils, man. All right. <laughs> all right. That's, that's, hey, that's what it boils down to, man. I'm going to get verse 41 for the sake of time. Um, it's 41 and 9. Like I say, you can pretty much read the whole chapters of these. I'm just skimming through it for the sake of time and because, you know, it's a lesson. I'm just trying to get straight to the point. But um, this is uh, Psalms 40, uh, 141 and 9. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me and the gin, gins of the workers of iniquities. All right. Lord, keep us. All right. Keep us away from, from these wicked ass people, man. We get as Israelites and these Edomites, right? Uh, let the wicked fall into their own nets and whistle with the uh, with the escape, right? Fall into their own nets. How they gonna fall into their own nets? Well, the Lord put on their spirits, which I'm gonna get there real quick for edification's sake. The Lord put it on these spirits to create the nuclear missile, all right? So this is uh, Isaiah. 54 16 all right behold i have created the smith which bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work and i've created the waster to destroy now what is this what is the waster to destroy that's the nuclear missile and the lord put it on a spirit on a heart to create that nuclear missile and they're going to be taken away by their own nuclear missile all right <laughs> by their own blessing check check the power of the lord right there man all right, hey, we got you. How about me outside on the side, man? Let me highlight these real quick. This is Psalms 142 and 4. I looked on my right hand, and behold, there was no man that would know, uh, know me. Refuge failed me, and no man cared for my soul. All right, hey, hey, this is a long, it's a long, straight and narrow road that we gotta walk, man. Okay. And down here as the Israelites, hey, hey, these other nations don't care about us. And you got Moab crying out here now. <laughs> and, and they want to take attention. But we've been out here crying for years. And, and they, they, they've they been like, what the hell? Uh, 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 to hell with us, man. Verse 5, I've cried unto you, how about me, 
I said, Thou art my refuge, my portion in the land of my in, in the land of the living. Attend to my cry, for I'm brought very low. Deliver me from the from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. You see, we need deliverance from these wicked ass people, man. All right, they can throw us up in prison, man. But hey, you know, that's why the Lord gave us gave us this book, man. Look into the old path and understanding that, hey, some of our forefathers got thrown into prison, but was able to break out. You know, rather the angel take them out or, or someone intervene and, and, and broke them out of the prison, you know. Hey, that uh, these times are coming and we need for the Lord, Yahweh Simeon Shah, to deliver us. Verse seven, bring my soul out of the out of prison that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about. For thou shalt deal uh, bountiful, bountifully with me. You see that? And so the Lord, hey, hey, some of the men of the Lord going to be thrown into prison in these last days. But some of the men of the Lord going to escape that. You see that? By the spirit and power of Yahweh by me outside. Especially since that standard is going to be lifted up. I even had dreams about that, man. You know? Lord willing, that boosts up your faith. You know, the Lord can use an angel. The Lord can use a fellow brother to break you out of prison, man. You know, we going to need that protection from these wicked ass people because they got they got the guns, man. Jake want to be like these niggas, man. Esau Edom is the real nigga and they want to be like him. You know, pick up the gun. No, you, 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 you. hey, we're not supposed to be carnal, which I'm going to get this real quick. This is uh, Romans 8. This is Romans 8 and uh, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You see? And the bulk of our people are carnally minded. All right? But the spiritual, all right? The spiritual is going to be the ones that please Yahweh by Shemel Shai. It's going to trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. It's not going to trust in their shield, their sword. All right? Yahweh by Shemel Shai is going to be our, our shield and our buckler. Okay? Because the carnal mind is enmity against power, for it's not subject to the law of power, neither indeed can it be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please power. You see that? The Lord ain't dealing with you carnal ass niggas. All right? That want to pick up a piece and act like y'all y'all going to do something with it, man. Lord ain't dealing with y'all, man. All right? You suppose that, hey, the only piece that you're supposed to be picking up for real is these scriptures. All right? Let's go back to Psalms. This is Psalms. Um, I'm going to skim through this a little bit. This is Psalms uh, 143. Um, get this real quick. Psalms 143. Hear my prayer, O Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Give ear to my supplications and thy faith faithfulness. Answer me in thy righteousness. Enter in Enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy have persecuted my soul. You see that? For he have smitten smit my life down to the ground. He have made me dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. You see, this man has always been planning how to keep us down. All right. From slavery and still now he got us down. But through these scriptures, man, through, through the spirit and power, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, he has lifted us up. He has gave, gave us this hidden manna to comfort us and understand that, hey, we got to go through this ass whooping and then the kingdom of heaven is around the corner, literally. Therefore, my spirit, oh, therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. Why? Because, hey, we signed the crying unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai to get the heck up out of here, man. All right, I remember the days of old. I meditate on all the all thy works. I muse on on the work of thy hands. All right, meditate on the on the days of old. What is that? Looking at the old path, okay. Looking at our, our forefathers. All right, they trusted in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. They wasn't confounded. All right, but since our uh, bulk of our people didn't want to trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shai, that's why we went into slavery. That's why we desolate now. All right. So now we got to look into the old path. You see, our people have tried everything but repentance. This is the time of repentance. Okay? And also, you, you can see the works, which I want to do 
a lesson on um, about hurricanes. You know, hey, hey, that in itself is in the power of Yahweh Bashim al right? Hey, I wouldn't be surprised a whole bunch of hurricanes will be uh, uh, flying through, <laughs> I should say, you know, when Yahweh Shah busts bust through the sky, all right? Gonna be crazy out, man. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm skim through this. Um, I'm getting verse 7. This is verse 7. Hear me speedily, O Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. My spirit fail, faileth. Hide not my face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. You see, we need the Lord. Jake don't realize that they need the Lord. Hey, we need the Lord out here, man. We need the Lord. This ain't no time to be out here uh, uh, trusting in yourself. You trust in Yahweh by Shemiel outside. Okay? This is verse 9. Deliver me, O Yahweh by Shemiel outside from my enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. You see? You get into these scriptures, man. You call on the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower where the righteous runneth into it. Okay? Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my power. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of the uprightness. All right? So you follow... You follow this hand guide. All right, you trusting y'all by Shemiel Shai, you're going to be led into the land of milk and honey. All right, our homeland. This is Psalms 141, 144, and 1. Blessed be Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, my strength, which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. All right, why? Because the Lord is, is going to lift up this standard, man. To protect us from these wicked ass <laughs> Edomites, man. That want to take us down to the pit. That wants to kill us, man. Right? The Lord's the Lord has to lift up the sand. He, hey, the Lord's not a man that he should lie. So if he said that stand is gonna be lifted up, that stand is gonna be lifted up. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, and whom I will trust, who subdueth my people under me. You see that? Our people don't want to trust in the Lord. They want to trust in their gat. <laughs> As if it's going to do something, man. It ain't going to do nothing. You know, and once again, I'm looking at this cherry up in the sky, how beautiful it is. Man, call hello and lie. You how about some outside by some cock and dice, man. You know? Hey, this is the time that we in. We're going to need their protection from on high. All right? I'm going to read a little bit of this. Um... This is uh highlight highlight real quick. Yahweh Bashim outside is what is men that take his knowledge of him and the son of man that make his account of him. Man is like a vanity, his days are as a shadow that pass away. You see? It ain't nothing for the Lord to take away the breath out of you, man. So that's why you got fear of the Lord. By thy heavens, O Yahweh Bashim outside, and come down, touch the mountains. And they shall smoke, cast forth lightning, and scatter them. Shoot out thy arrows, destroy them. You see? All right? The, the mountains, man. These high governments. All right? Esau Edom's power seat is going to be cast down. All right? They're going to be taken into slavery. A lot of them going to eat a nuclear missile. Okay? Hey, hey, we ready for that. Send thy hand from above, rid me, and deliver me out of the great waters. For the hand, from the hand of the strange children. You see that? Who's the strange children? That's Esau, Edom. All right, we need to be delivered from these wicked ass people whose mouths speak of vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. You see that? All right, these people are not to be trusted. These people are not to be trusted. All right, but our people want to trust in these wicked ass devil, devils. All right, I will sing a new song unto thee, O power. And it's in the pass the street, and the instrument of ten strings, I will sing praises unto thee. All right. Matter of fact, this is our verse 11. Read me and deliver me from the hand of the strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is at the right hand of falsehood. So we need to be delivered from these wicked ass devils, man. All right, right now they're in the power seat. Right now they got <laughs> they got the blessing of the sword. They can take you out. The Lord, hey, the Lord has that sword being furbished to take out a lot of you jakes. All right, if, if at least you repent, you're going to be taken away by these wicked ass devils, man. And once again, they base ass people and they only blessing 
All right, the only superpower is <laughs> the sword, man. That's all I can do. But yet, hey, it's powerful. Ain't nothing for the Lord to swip, uh, flip that switch and have them take us out. So, hey, that's why we got to repent. Okay, that's why we got to repent. Coming to the Lord. With that, until next time, Lord willing, shalom.